This is your BMW's timing chain tensioner. It's an extremely vital component in engine operation and often goes bad over time, especially on high mileage vehicles. So in today's video, we'll be showing you how to replace it to get you back on the road in no time. So the timing chain tensioner on these BMWs essentially uses oil pressure to push the metal piston here at the end against the timing chain guides. And what this does is keep steady tension against the timing chain. That way it's not loose and rattling around during engine operation. But over time, what's going to happen is the piston piston here on the end is going to wear out and essentially becomes loose and allows too much play, which leads to your timing chain slapping, jumping timing, or even worse, critical engine failure. So in today's video, we'll be swapping it out for a brand new one. And so on this N52 engine, the tensioner is going to be located at the bottom passenger side of the engine. And it should be in the same location for the N54 and N55 engines with the exception of there's more hoses in the way. And so all you're going to do is locate the BMW logo on the engine cover and then come right down in here and you can see this large bolt sticking out. That is the tensioner. And before we do any work, warning, you want to do this on a completely cold engine. That means the vehicle has to sit overnight. It cannot be freshly driven. Otherwise, you run the risk of cross-threading and stripping out the threads on the tensioner, which will leave you in a world of trouble. Do not do this on a warm engine. And all you're going to need for this job is a 27 millimeter short socket on a long breaker bar. And you want to use a short socket because if you use a long longer one, it's not going to be able to fit in the tight space on the side of the engine. And using a breaker bar makes it drastically easier to loosen the tensioner with less effort. And if you'd like to free up some more space, you can remove the expansion tank by loosening the two 10 millimeter bolts that hold it into place. But in all honesty, on the N52 engine, you shouldn't have to do this, but the N54 and N55, you may have to move some hoses around. And all we're going to do is wiggle the socket on so it's nice and flush and fully sat on the head of that bolt. Perfect, and now you can see we're fully ready to start loosening. And again, just be sure you're fully sat flush on the bolt to avoid stripping it. And all we're going to do now is loosen the tensioner counterclockwise until all of the torque is broken free. And it should not be held on extremely tight. We were able to loosen it off with ease, and now we can simply hand loosen it off until it's fully free from the engine. And just know, as you're loosening the tensioner, a little bit of oil will start to drip out of the engine. Again, if you're doing this on a completely cold engine like you should, there shouldn't be a lot of oil coming out, but if the engine's warm, expect a large pool to flow from the engine. So simply grab a microfiber towel just so we can place it underneath the tensioner to catch any excess oil. And you can see we almost have the tensioner completely loosened from the engine. Just keep on backing it out. And just like that, guys, our old timing chain tensioner is fully removed from the engine. And it's absolutely crazy, but this part has 260,000 miles on it. So that's 260,000 miles of this metal piston pressing up against our timing chain guides while the engine's operated at over 200 degrees. So it's safe to say that this part is definitely not operating like brand new and is pretty worn out. And again, guys, since this part is controlled by oil pressure, we should be able to press the end of it and we can start to see that there is so much play in it. I'm putting almost no pressure. This thing came straight out of the engine and I can press it all the way down using my left hand. There's an enormous amount of play in the end of it and you can start to see all this oil squeezing out. And this basically shows us that I was right. The piston is definitely worn out because it should not be this easy to depress. It should take a lot more effort. And where this is extremely dangerous for the engine is if the piston's not providing ample pressure against the timing chain guides, that means that our timing chain is operating loosely, which explains why my vehicles had a good amount of timing chain slap in the last couple months. So replacing this for a brand new one should tighten everything up and make my engine operate much more quietly. And something to take note of is this tensioner should actually have a metal crush gasket on it, but it looks like it's still stuck on the vehicle end. And so if we look right down in here to the hole it connected to, simply grab a flathead screwdriver and we're able to pop off our old metal crush gasket. You can see it right here. This happens all the time where the crush gasket retains onto the vehicle. So you need to be sure to remove it if it didn't come off with the tensioner. And now this is extremely important because if the old metal crush gasket's worn out and you accidentally leave it on, then you run the risk of it cracking once we tighten down our new one, which would allow vacuum and oil leaks, not to mention would space out the tensioner further from the timing chain, which could result in even more slack that could damage the engine 
tension or affect the timing. And although we squeezed a good amount of oil from the tensioner already, which is why it's a little bit easier for me to depress the piston, I definitely know that it is not supposed to be this easy to press it down, especially considering, again, I'm using my left hand, not my right hand. The piston's pressing down with almost no effort as to where the new one that I took out of the box earlier was much harder to depress, even with no oil inside of it. So if you have timing chain rattle, timing chain slap, check engine lights for your camshaft, retarding your timing, well, this all could stem from this one component right here. And just so you can see, the OE supplier for this part is EWIS, and the part number's written all along the side right here if you wanna take note of that, but it'll also be down below in the video description. But here's actually the brand new part that I ordered from them. You can see it's the same exact part number, it says EWIS on the side, comes with our brand new crush gasket, and this thing is in much better condition. But now let's go ahead and install this brand new one into our vehicle. But something we will do before installing our new timing chain tensioner is we'll grab a little jar of engine oil just like this. And what we're actually gonna do is submerge and soak our new tensioner inside of this little jar of oil. And the reason you'll do that is if you don't, you run the risk of this piston not pressurizing properly and allow the timing chain to run loose for a few seconds when we turn on the vehicle, which could cause a catastrophic issue in that short time. So what we're going to do is remove the brand new metal crush gasket and then fully submerge the new tensioner until it completely fills with oil so the piston can properly maintain pressure on the timing chain as soon as we put it into the vehicle. And now we'll leave it like this for about 10 minutes and you can actually start to see little air bubbles starting to come out, which is a good sign. We want to be sure that all of the air leaves the piston and then we'll fully install it. So let's go ahead and let this sit for about 10 minutes. Perfect guys, now that about 10 minutes has passed, let's go ahead and remove that brand new timing chain tensioner from that jar of oil and then be sure to wipe down the head of the bolt so it's easier to reinstall, but don't wipe down any other portion of this part. And then don't forget to slide on the brand new metal crush gasket to the tensioner, and then we'll simply reinsert this into the engine and hand tighten everything into place. And then be sure to clear out any wires or cables that could get caught underneath the metal crush gasket, and then hand tighten this clockwise until it's fully flush against the engine surface. And it is getting a little slippery, so you can go ahead and use a ratchet to simply hand tighten it. Do not torque it at all using the ratchet. And after scouring the internet, I was finally able to find this helpful guide that breaks down the entire timing chain schematic on these BMW engines. And if we scroll to the very bottom, you can see right here, it says timing chain tensioner bolt labeled number one, and it says tighten to 50 Newton meters of torque, which equates to about 36 foot pounds. And you can see that the bolt we're installing keeps tension on this large plastic timing chain guide, which is connected to the other guide and keeps tension on the timing chain to mitigate any play and ensures that the chain is tight during engine operation. So you can see that the torque value and how well the internal piston of the tensioner operates is extremely important for eliminating any slack in our timing chain, which is going to make our vehicle run better overall. And so here I have my torque wrench. And like I said, 50 Newton meters going to equate to about 36 foot pounds. And if you don't know how to use a torque wrench, the top of this metal band where you see these numbers is going to sit flush against the foot pounds of torque we wanna use. So we're gonna go ahead and go up to 40 foot pounds. And the reason we're doing 40 is my engine's a little bit older. So we'll go about three or four foot pounds over the recommended torque value, just so everything stays just a hair tighter. And then the numbers here on the bottom, we're basically adding to that 40. So we're gonna just zero it out. So 40 plus zero equals 40. 40, so that's how much foot pounds of torque we're using. And so we're going to tighten this all the way down until you hear a clicking sound and the tension is released from our torque wrench. That's how you know that you've properly torqued to that 40 foot pounds. And so there it is. We're simply going to fit it right over the top of the tensioner till it's fully flush. And then you want to use one hand to support the socket and then the other hand to hold on to the torque wrench. And this is to make sure that you're applying even torque without the socket slipping off. And my arm might be in the way of the camera, but notice how the torque torque wrench is going to click and that indicates to us that it's fully tight at 40 foot pounds. And now the moment of truth, we're going to go ahead and fire up the engine with our brand new timing chain tensioner and everything seems to be turning on and fully operable. And something I already noticed right off the bat is the engine sounds way healthier than it did before. 
I had a little bit of timing chain slap as of the last couple months, and I was really starting to think that maybe it was time to get a brand new engine. It was getting so bad at idle that I could hear the timing chain slapping over the exhaust note. And so hearing the engine fire up as quick as it did and just sound much healthier overall gives me a huge amount of reassurance to know that this engine can keep going for tens of thousands of more miles. So if your timing chain is slapping and sounds obscenely loud and you're starting to think that you might need a new engine, I 100% recommend each and every one of you go ahead and replace this $50 part because it could save you a world of headache and breathe new life into your engine. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button to take advantage of more helpful BMW videos like this one that'll help you save time and money.